hello guys this is root over here and today we are going to see linux basics for hacking or the normal usage uh, it can be used for everything like you are going to learn the basic linux that's it um little bit advanced also okay let's see the commands which we are going to use mostly in linux uh, for this tutorial i am going to use kali linux like uh, this is my first tutorial like i am little bit <laughs> feeling nervous like uh, i think you like it i hope you like it okay basic linux commands i will take a snapshot of my mission so that it doesn't crash yeah cool we can start over here as you can see we i am using virtual box um WhatsApp danger uh, let it load uh, Kali Linux is nothing but a Debian based uh, distribution uh, made by offensive security and basically all Linux has the same commands Unix systems also uh, some of the commands may differ uh, in terms of Arch and Kali Linux, uh, in different types of distribution like Packet Manager, APT, uh, differs from uh, Pacman and etc. Um, etc. Et Defaultly, I'm going to use a systems terminal. Um, let me zoom it. Oh, okay, I love this system. First command we are going to try is pwd, it's nothing but it displays the uh, current working directory like I am right now in the uh, home Kali directory let me switch to CD um, Lin sorry let me create it mkdir make directory this uh, this command is used to make directories yeah uh, let me create a test directory uh, and the CD is used to change the directory uh, if you want to go to the uh, different directory CD is for, for the visual example uh, I am going to show you with uh, this file manager uh, currently we are in home Kali and I created a, a directory called uh, wait a second what did I named it test uh, I created a directory called test and I'm inside this terminal is currently inside this okay now we are going to run some certain commands pwd it's used for uh, display the current directory let me check what directory we are in yeah we are in test C L E A R. it's used to clear the space uh, in the terminal and uh, let me type who am I who am I this command is used to display the current user who is the current user I am Kali yeah clear oh, sorry there was a certain mistake you have to press control uh, plus C if you wa uh, want to exit out of uh, some kind of uh, program etc etc and uh, if you want to copy and uh, paste in the terminal you have to use control uh, control shift and v and control shift and c as you can see it works control shif plus c to copy and v to uh, paste it uh, next we are going to see the cd command cd is used to shift um, change the directory actually uh, if you just type cd it will go to the home directory you can uh, go to the home directory by uh, typing cd and uh, a tied symbol this will also lead you to the home as you can see we are going to move into the test directory and uh, if you want to move one directory backward you have to uh, type the command cd dot dot it means one uh, directory back um, 
and if you want to move two uh, two directory back like uh, previous two directory you have to uh, put two dots so that you go to one second yeah uh, okay okay I seems it doesn't work in the updated version let me ls uh, currently the test file uh, folder the directory doesn't has any files so I have to move to the old directory as you can see I am in home directory right now uh, as you can see I have many files here like uh, this text um, log.txt I have listed the text using the ls command you can also see the conditions and uh, permissions of the files by ls minus l it will show the permissions uh, I, I need to explain the permissions first Linux has the permission uh, who, who should execute a particular file who shouldn't execute a particular file uh, etc etc let me copy this yeah let me use control shift and V to paste it it's nothing but uh, as natural it looks like this it's nothing but uh, this uh, D represents uh, nothing but uh, it represents it's a directory or a file uh, if d is present here it's a directory if the d is not present here then it's a file uh, and this first three characters is uh, belongs to the creator of this file uh, uh, it's read write and execute permission r for read w for uh, uh, write and x for execution and um, this is for the group and this is for the others others means the whole world who can access that file sometimes you will have a, a like this it means uh, you can execute with the temporary uh, creators permission for example root have created this particular file root has created this particular file and uh, uh, change its permission to 4000 then uh, someone uh, who executes that particular file they will execute it as root temporarily ok next we are going to see um, ls minus la it's nothing but the detailed uh, command it will show the hidden files also like uh, dot files are the hidden files you can have a shortcut uh, to clear the whole window control plus l is used to clear the window quickly uh, let me do it control plus l yeah it's clear right now but it's good to use the clear command and uh, as you can see there's a command called dash dash help mostly all of the uh, programs do have a help page and a manual page also for example let me put r crack ng r r crack ng dash dash help it's uh, used to read the help yeah next man manual uh, man is nothing but manual how to use a particular uh, software r crack can be yeah, cool as you can see manual is a little bit detailed than the uh, help command um, as you can see it's long uh, press Q to quit it uh, and next uh, mostly uh, sometimes uh, uh, some programs uh, have simply dash H as help uh, yeah it depends on the program who created it uh, he may added a uh, dash h as help you may not next uh, we can locate certain files L O C A like this uh, there's a file called uh, 3953 file dot sh 
I'm going to locate it. It's it's in this um, directory. I, it's in this location in my PC. Uh, okay, let me clear it. Next command we are we are going to see is var is var is. This is used to find the binaries of a particular program. R crack ng yeah cool. The binary is in user bin R crack and uh, default uh, the binaries are stored in user bin R crack. Yeah, it's sorry, sorry. User bin, almost all the binaries are located there. And uh, you can you use virus uh, for this particular task, and which which is also a nicer tool to find uh, find the files in the particular path variable. Let me show what is path variable. E C H O. Uh, I think mostly um, most of you know this command. Echo is nothing but it's a it's a print line command. For example, if you type anything in this um, within this uh, braces, echo will just simply print it out. Sometimes uh, you can uh, echo the variable. Like example let me example put a equals to 10 now i'm going to echo the value inside the a yeah it's printing out the value cool uh, let me clear it and uh, next uh, i was in the var command uh, which command actually uh, let me show you the path variable e c h o path is nothing but uh, environment variable it's uh, it's already predefined by the system uh, this is the path variable it will where will simply look uh, into this uh, this directories whether the uh, given file is located or not um, which sorry which are crack ng yeah cool it's located in user bin r crack ng next next i'm going to use find command uh, let me see how we use this find dash dash help as you can see the find command is used like this you may get some examples online in the internet First, we have to put uh, in find find uh, var. I am going to use the root directory dash slash min uh, root directory. It's nothing but the root directory. And uh, what type of file it is? It might be a f folder directory. It may be a file. It it may be a binary executable file. It may be a cons etc etc. Um, let me find uh, uh, minus f named uh, r crack ng yeah cool sorry uh, I have uh, used a wrong uh, one second let me see what we used here root ok L let me find some uh, users file uh, u s e r s um, user is no one but kali kali uh, that's me uh, and p r m it's nothing but permission uh, it's 777 yeah cool some of these files are located by the find command it's a nice tool you have to detailly research it and uh, I I'm not going to show you the full detail how how to use it I'm just going to press ctrl plus c to execute that uh, 
control plus L. Yeah, cool. Next, I have shown you echo command. Now I have, I am going to show you the grep command. We are E P. It's nothing but uh, usually this tool is used to pipe over the other, other, uh, other programs uh, to filter the output. Um, uh, I'm not going to use grip uh, as individual. Uh, let me show you an example with echo. E C H O. Echo. Slash. Uh, sorry. Dollar path. Yeah. Path. This is nothing but a pipe variable. The the output produced by this command will go to the next command as an argument and uh, i'm going to use grep it's grep user US, yeah cool it's like highlighting uh, where the user is been yeah cool that's cool grep is used for this let me list all the files for example uh, uh let me cat it cat uh, der buster cat is nothing but uh, it's going to read the contents of the file uh, i will show you the usage as you can see it has a multiple lines but we are going to filter only the word report so let me uh, use here cat grep grep and the word is report it has a uh, multiple arguments um, in grep you can see all of the arguments uh, like you, you can uh, define uh, that the particular word is case independent like small letter or a large letter sorry it's taking too much time why it's taking too much time let me define it here oh sorry i am not uh, mention the file the buster yeah yeah cool we have uh, two lines the containing the word report one and two yeah cool next we are going to see um uh, cat yeah cat is nothing but uh, which is used uh, to read the contents of a text file or a particular file uh, the cat command is also used to write into the other files like cat uh, derbuster uh, into asd.txt it will uh, print this output uh, inside the asd file uh, I want to show you the difference between this and this. It's nothing but uh, uh, if you run this, uh, let me show you first. Um, yeah, cat ast dot txt. Yeah, cool. As you can see, uh, it has been printed the result of the dir. Um, if you use this arrow, it will uh, delete delete all of the contents uh, uh, which is already in a particular file and uh, output everything. If you use uh, the two arrows, um, it will just uh, print everything, append it. The existing content will not be deleted and uh, it will be over uh, it it will not be overwritten um, sorry for this distraction um, let me concentrate fully here next touch command t o u c h touch this is nothing but simply used to create a file yeah touch file ls we got a file called file yeah we can uh, use to create multiple files like 2, 3, 34, 5, 5. 
as you can see uh, there are files created 2 3 34 file yeah cool touches nothing but uh, used to create multiple files or a single file and uh, now we are going to see mkdir it's nothing but used to create a directory uh, touches used to create a file please do remember that file uh, it's it's something which contains the data directory which is uh, something it lists list uh, it just uh, lists lists all of the files inside it like you can arrange the files inside a directory sorry wait sorry i'm just a little bit nervous um, um ah, i want to show you the property of this yeah what does this does the semicolon uh, is nothing but it uh, it executes multiple commands like you can uh, use cat ast and uh, after it you can run echo uh, echo um, ast a sorry sorry i didn't uh, close the code it will not uh, it will do nothing but first it will execute the cat command then it will uh, echo the content which is uh, copied here i uh, typed here sorry next uh, semicolon has been covered and next cp cp is nothing but uh, used to copy files yeah you can copy the bash shell file into um, desktop root dot ruba whatever it's used to copy uh, from this destination to this destination as this file okay are you clear sorry uh, as this file okay let me clear it not going to copy anything so uh, it will uh, unnecessarily create some random files i don't want it and uh, next mv mv is uh, used for uh, two purposes like first uh, we have asd.txt i want to rename it as uh, asd renamed yeah cool that's it i have renamed it the content of the ASD text is uh, destroyed and uh, a copy is created called, uh, called ASD.rename and MV is also used to move the files to a particular um, location like uh, root home directory like a base directory I don't have uh, enough permission so this operation is in computer next uh, uh, next what you can do next there is a command called uh, rm which is nothing but used to remove a file rm is the renamed it simply uh, removes the file it deletes the file permanently please be careful uh, before uh, deleting a file it may be an important file please don't uh, delete unnecessary files like uh, system files etc uh, if you want to delete uh, a directory there are two methods like rm with an argument r and the directory name T -E -S -T. or else you can also use rmdir the both works same next s y f l o g oh sorry it's nothing but um, system log command it it does print the system log okay next i want to um, tell an operation of a symbol this this is nothing but everything 
for example let me show an example echo star it will print everything yeah it will print everything basically it will print everything like if you did rm star uh, it will remove all of the files in the current directory which which, uh, which is nothing but it will delete all the files and the direct uh, files and the files and the directories in the form kali directory which is nothing but um, all of these files will be erased uh, next we are going to see a cat command uh, you have already seen it sorry um, I will little bit confusion Next, uh, we are going to see some text uh, manipulation head H E A D. it's nothing but it prints first uh, 10 lines or a uh, first line of the particular uh, text file the robust report yeah we don't have a uh, 10 lines so it has printed everything let me print the nmap re report head uh, sorry results and what cool as you can see only the first 10 lines has been printed uh, yeah cool uh, you can uh, print also the first 20 lines by an or adding an argument minus 20 cool it will print only the first 20 lines to print the last portion of the uh, this file you have to use a, a command called tail it will print the last uh, 10 lines and you can also print the last 20 lines minus 20 yeah cool it's nothing but uh, it's used to used for text manipulation the commands uh, I'm now going to show is basically used for text manipulation next NL prints the number of lines uh, report result uh, sorry result on uh, and map uh, number of lines wait a second yeah there are 15 number of li lines cool next um, um, cat I've already shown you the cat with grip said yeah said is a most common command which will you will use it's uh, it's nothing but uh, it's used to find and replace the content of a text file i want uh, this video as soon as uh, like it should be short as short as uh, possible um let me put it um, like g slash file name file name sorry sorry file name no uh, word the word to be changed the word to be changed and the word to be added in place of change slash g uh, means um, slash g means uh, the whole uh, directories uh, whole files words will be changed or else uh, just a slash means the first word um, that contains uh, that should be changed in place of this yeah and uh, slash uh, particular number like two five six means uh, it will change uh, the number of words yeah uh, and uh, the file name file file name yeah cool next we are going to see the more command yeah i love it more report dot txt sorry 
why put that n map sorry let me print it report sorry uh, it's not report it's the result more result dot n map uh, it didn't work let me let me print something big uh, yeah you will love fuzz it's a big uh, word list you are you are alpha fuzz yeah as you can see more uh, does nothing but uh, it uh, it allows you to print the put, uh, number of lines which can be accommodated in this tab like it will not print more than uh, this much of lines uh, sorry sorry i have opened vim and i don't know how to use vim yeah cool sorry where was i more url fast yeah if you press enter it will move on with the next line next line next line and you can use q to quit it and uh, next i'm going to show less less it's also same but uh, it has some additional functionalities um like uh, you can check the manual page of the less less man less as you can see it has many functionalities like uh, you can print anything it is a great tool uh, that you should learn um next we are going to see okay is there oh shit yeah no next we are going to see the network commands uh, the commands related to network first command i love this command if config yeah it just prints your ip address etc etc and next iw config it uh, it prints the wireless um, devices which is connected to your kali linux i mean any linux distribution computer you can specify a particular uh, particular device on a if if config like if config ETHO it will print the content of ETHO only next uh, you can uh, you can change your DNS server by this command TAS TAD sorry Added. Leafpad is nothing but a program, a graphical user uh, um, program which is used to edit text files like etc um, res uh, resolve. Confia. Yeah. Okay, I don't have uh, Leafpad. I am going to use Pluma. P L U M A. Yeah, I am currently using a uh, one nine two. Uh, you can directly edit. Uh, sorry, I don't have enough permission, so I can't edit it. Uh, if I sudo. sudo it i can uh, sudo uh, this symbol is nothing but uh, it just adds to the previous command which has been executed and the su sudo is nothing but the it's a tool which uh, which allows you to uh, run it as a super user and i am going to enter the password yeah we can change the dns uh, I love Cloudflare DNS, so I'm going to save it as a uh, code. 
next uh, let me ping it a ping is a nice command which is used to check the connectivity to another uh, system with which is connected or not next uh, we are going to uh, we can use echo also echo um, like let me let me have a new tab let me copy this line and put it over here and close it and just append to etc call sorry not cons it will uh, uh, do nothing but it will add this line to that uh, particular f file uh, yeah it has the same purpose uh, if you have a graphical uh, editor it's much better because you can see the contents and next uh, next command we are going to try is nothing but uh, we are going to map our uh, ip addresses yeah cool we can uh, cat this cat um, etc so sorry uh, we can see we are connected to this server by this uh, local IP address is this and uh, current user IP address is this blue back addresses uh, next uh, Next, we are going to uh, install some applications. Um, as you can see, different Linux distributions have a different packet manager. Uh, for the Debian distribution, it's APT. For Fedora, M is used, and uh, for Arch Linux is Pacman. And you have a s certain graphical uh, packet managers also. I'm going to use uh, APT. Dash dash version. Yeah, it's nothing but uh, 2.11. Uh, yeah. Cool. Next, as you can see, uh, we can search a particular application whether it's available in our packet manager. C sorry, C A C H K H C A R C H S N O R cool uh, there is an application called uh, snore apt install uh, uh, cool oh sorry the permission has been denied we have to use sudo cool yeah why i'm going to uh, install it I don't know what kind of application is it. Um, shit. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just uh, randomly installing an application. I don't know what's its purpose. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Next, I am going to remove that particular application using app. Get remove. No. Cool. That's it. Sudo. Sorry. Certain uh, um, commands wouldn't run as a normal user, so you have to use sudo uh, because the sudo uh, super uses control certain uh, things. 
my super user is myself i have separated that account from this account uh, so that uh, if my system uh, gets uh, hacked or uh, malware enters into it uh, the particular kali user uh, may be infected of that particular malware not the root user uh, there are methods for privilege escalation but yeah that's that's a beginning step of uh, preventing an attack yeah cool next i have already uploaded a privilege escalation tutorial in my channel please check it out next not remove ah yeah as you can see uh, we have installed an application called uh, snod and removed it but it it is it uh, it doesn't the remove command doesn't uh, removes the config files we have to remove it manually using the purge command sorry wait a second ah uh, yeah i want to explain uh, uh, one thing before uh, before continuing this as you can see my dollar symbol suddenly change into hash uh, most of the beginners confuse over here yeah nothing but i have switched into super user super user is nothing but root um uh, and dollar symbol is nothing but me a normal user kali i had this confusion uh, um is in the beginning when i was uh, young and learning linux basically yeah now I, you can uh, switch into different i mean root user in by different methods like su root sorry it's also same yeah as you can see next uh su is also same um next sudo su is also same as you can see apt get purge purge snort yeah cool i just want to remove the config file school it has been removed now um our uh, uh, um as you can see our packet manager doesn't upgrade itself or update itself manually i mean sorry automatically we have to update it um, manually using app get update so our uh, database has been up to date and the newest software release uh, which is uh, in rolling or a uh, uh, stable version it gets uh, into our database so we can download it install it etc etc there is another command upgrade i usually don't recommend this command if you are using a uh, debian yeah because uh, some of the rolling uh, release versions are unstable in uh, debian version it may crash your computer uh, um, before install updating it yeah sorry up upgrade sorry you grade <laughs> sorry upgrade now the command is correct but i wouldn't recommend this command to run um thank you next we are going to see the source list of the packet manager uh, it's located in uh, etc slash ap sorry sorry apt slash um, source list yeah we currently have a uh, two source list um uh, if you want uh, you could add uh, using the echo or uh, edit it using pluma you you can search uh, extra source list from uh, 
from the Google or DuckDuckGo. I would prefer DuckDuckGo uh, because it's nice and uh, it it uh, cares about your privacy. Yeah, next uh, we I am going to show you the graphical um, graphical uh, packet manager graphical installer um, synaptic it's uh, it's available in every linux distribution it's uh, it is it's not differ in any other li linux distribution you could also use uh, the manjaro's uh, default uh, gui based uh, packet uh, packet manager uh, that's also cool and great let me install it first install snap no nap tick yeah cool it's a nice uh, version in debian because it's the only thing which is user friendly in this particular OS yeah we have to open that particular application we have to go to the settings yeah settings yeah i get it so i in a synaptic pack manager yeah root or Why isn't working? Root, uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, this is the packet manager. It's a graphical packet manager. You could just press on that and apply mark alas up say upgrade. You can upgrade everything, etc. Uh, etc. Et um, now I'm go not going to show how it's done. Uh, and you could also install. Uh, uh, git git software so yeah with a simple command git clone and the url if dot git is here make sure you remove it um, so that uh, no misunderstanding is done by the terminal after executing this command you can see uh, Yeah. C D Kinopi. <coughs> you will get this type of file. Uh, it depends on the part particular software which you clone. Yeah. Next uh, next I am going to show you some of the interesting and cool features. Uh, like you can find uh, literally the SUID I have uh, um, uh, remember in the beginning of the session I have told you the S permission the permission 4000 you could uh, uh, literally find uh, things which has a uh, permission 4000 find uh, from root directory use uh, root and uh, the perm PRM equals to 4000 yeah this this particular files can be um, used for privilege escalation make sure you don't have any of them yeah next we are going to move into the process management let me clear it ps it's nothing but what are the process currently running in background sudo yeah sudo is running sui uh, we are in switched as root user yeah Z ZSH uh, it's nothing but the current shell which I am using and the PS which we ran now just now the process you can also spot the process auxiliary processes yeah the these are the processes which are running in background 
yeah that's lot of them and you could see the cross society and uh, cpu consumption memory consumption etc etc the disadvantage this particular command has it uh, it shows a particular movements re uh, report if you want to update uh, simultaneously um, you could use stop it it is dynamic it shows the current value uh, the current consumption of the cpu and uh, etc etc memory but um, i wouldn't recommend this also because it's so boring to see this i need something which is attracted to my eyes um you could use h stop it's oh sorry i think d top uh i wait a second let's stop f top sorry um no just uh, forgot uh, what command comes for that graphical uh, command line tool next we are going to use nice nice yeah this is used to set a priority uh, to a program and the current terminal's priority is zero yeah it means it the command when we type it executes at as it is and uh, next renice is used to modify the existing uh, uh, priority yeah next uh, kill command kill and uh, the uh, program name or the process id pid it will kill the particular process uh, or the uh, process related to the pid and fg is uh, nothing but uh, the process which is running in the uh, background will move to front ground and uh, bg is nothing but this is a command to mo move a process in background for example bg in map sorry in uh, uh, Sorry, that was a typing mistake. BG. Ninety BG dash dash JP. Okay, uh, I will uh, research and tell you later. At is a command uh, which is used to run uh, programs at a particular time. Uh, for example, at a particular value for this time, like twelve p.m. Uh, it will prompt a uh, shell like at at seven. I think uh, my bash shell doesn't has a at command. Next env. It's nothing but a use to. Uh, set or modify the environment variables the current environment variables I've shown you the path variable as you can see the path variable is here and these are the uh, environment variables currently environment variables currently and uh, there is another command called set we will pipe this with more because uh, as you can see this is also um, environment variables it shows the environment variables set control Q yeah. 
and you could literally change the environment variable by just doing this PATH default blah 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 it will change next uh, I'm going to tell you some secrets about bash scripting bash scripting is nothing but uh, um, running the commands uh, in a file like uh, yeah uh, let me show you an example test mkdir pst and cd t t s t yeah cool uh, nano nano is a uh, a text uh, editor based on the uh, terminal a s t l uh, if uh, i need to explain nano it will take a long tutorial i don't want to spend that much of time you could uh, research it in google and youtube and uh, get how to use nano i am going to simply show you some commands t o u c h a s one one and yeah, echo is here too. This is a bash C R I P T. Cool. Then a cat T one one. Then R M minus. I mean, sorry, M M S T one. Going to save this. This is nothing but a, a set of commands you could run on the bash shell, and I'm saving it as it is. Let me ls and see the permission of it. Yeah, this is the permission. Uh, we have the read only permission. We are going to add execute permission. Let me ex explain change mode. You could literally add uh, execute permission by this or uh, write permission by this uh, read permission by this and uh, the special permission like uh, suid permissions like this if you put a plus x it means uh, it will uh, make it executable to the whole world write to the whole world uh, read to the whole world you can define it by numbers also zero 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 it means no one has the um, permission to read it write it or execute it uh, so you change it uh, to 100 zero zero. let me put it aside and tell you the values let me have this three variables yeah put a dash equals to zero 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 if I change it to one this will change to one uh, let's do some binary addition if I change it to two it will change it to one dash dash is nothing but zero um, just remember that if I change it to 3 it will become 0 and here it will be 1 and 4 means another one is added 5 one is added and uh, zero here six nothing but one like this uh, you could uh, change the permissions like zero zero one zero zero two um 
the three zero here uh, the first zero represents the the creator of the file the root uh, creator of the file the currently it is root and second represents the group uh, this this address and the last one represents the whole world and I am going to change the permission you if you want to execute it you should give the execute permission uh, to this AST, yeah. let me check the permission right now sorry ls minus la as you can see we have the read write and execute permission only the root has this permission and we are going to execute by this there are different method to execute it you could uh, tell the whole directory's uh, location is t it will also execute it and uh, you can just go to the current working directory where the file is stored and just run it let me show you let me add few other uh, commands also ls 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 you will get the execution how it's executed As you can see, the file is not there. The file is being created, and the echo is running over here. And the file is being modified and saved. And the file is going to be removed. And the file is being removed at last. Okay, guys. Uh, at this point, I just want to quit and uh, signing out. Root. Take care, guys. See you, Root.